All right, so this is going to be a time lapse of some rehab work that my wife and I did to our backyard. Uh, we had some areas where the grass wouldn't grow. Uh, when we moved in, the backyard had plenty of grass on it, but over the over the years, the water had just eroded it away, and it wouldn't it wouldn't grow. We had tried planting seed before, and the seed took, but would only last a couple months. Uh, and then this year, when we tried to seed it, the grass just wouldn't grow at all. So. Uh, what we did was we started out by uh, tilling the, the area up, till it down to about three inches or so just to loosen up the, the surface uh, and go back and forth over it to get the, uh, get the dirt broken up as small as possible. And then uh, with that tilled up, just go back over it with a rake. Now I'm using a landscaping rake. It's like a 36 inch wide rake. It's got tines on one side and a blade on the other. And it really made quick work of doing all the, all the smoothing then my wife just went back behind me and picked up all the rocks and sticks that I may have left behind. With the uh, with the dirt all uh, all smoothed out and level, uh, I went through and put some fresh dirt on top. Now this was called uh, like a lawn dirt or yard dirt. Uh, I picked it up at Home Depot. It was made by Scotts, I believe, and it's just a, a dirt. It's got some compost like organics in it, as well as some other. Uh, other fertilizers. Just wanted to put this down as kind of a good, uh, more nutrient base than what the dirt that was already there that wouldn't grow anything. And just go back over that the the same way I did the rest of the dirt. Is I I put it down uh, and then took the rake, went over it, and then my wife went by with a with a hand tiller and broke up any of the remaining chunks. Now with that down, we went ahead and put the sod. And we're using a uh, zoysia sod here. It comes in little rectangular uh, pieces. They're, I believe, uh, 18 by 24. In total, we used uh, around 40 yards. We did the section here that you see, and then there were some, uh, some areas that were outside of the camera view that we did as well. But when you put the grass down, the sod, you just want to put it down in a staggered pattern. You don't want to have all the seams lined up. Uh, so yeah, just, just put it down staggered. When you get to the curves, you can see I had some curved areas and as well as it overhung uh, where the little pathway is uh, between the, the grass and the tree. Just let it hang over there and then come back by later with a knife and, and cut it off. You can see around the, I, I first started cutting it along the top of the grass, but then I found that it's much easier if you lift the, the piece of sod up and score the bottom of it where the roots are, then it'll come apart much easier. So I just went around the whole area and, and scored all those little sections off and then saved the little pieces because they work uh, to fill in the gaps in some of the other small areas. And then with, uh, with the area done, went through and I did a quick measurement uh, for some sprinkler make sure I could get the placement right because I wanted to be able to uh, have just one sprinkler do this section and then another sprinkler do the other section of the yard. Uh, once I confirmed that was going to fit, when we, we started cleaning everything up. Went through and uh, just swept it all up and leaf blew it. Uh, I also put down some starter fertilizer. Uh, it was also, I believe, made by Scotts. Just for it's meant for new lawns. Um, and then I I watered it. Uh, now here are a few pictures of the the before and the after. Uh, you see, before it was all it was just bare dirt. Uh, nothing nothing was there. Uh, and then I've got a picture here of what it looked like the day we finished it. And then as well as some photos after about a week, you can see the uh, the grass is getting a little bit greener. It's not turning brown, and the, the blades are nice and perked up. So hopefully it all lasts this time. Uh, it seems like it's working good so far. But uh, I hope this, uh, this video may help somebody out that's uh, looking to do sod in their backyard. The steps are really, it's really simple. Uh, it's just a lot of manual work. Uh, you also need a way to get the grass to your house. I, I hauled the grass in my truck. It was a little bit overloaded, but I don't live too far from the sod place, so it, it worked out pretty well for me. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks.